guys what is up welcome back to my channel today i'm going to discuss why i chose pit and how my experience has been so far hopefully this video helps someone else out when it comes to making your college decision because i know that can be really hard and really difficult before i get into it i'm gonna do a little disclaimer everyone's experience is different your application experience is different where you decide to go to college and how you decide to go to college is different but i'm going to give my reasoning for choosing pit and just explain how my experience has been anyway let's get into the video i'm gonna do this in sort of a timeline i have it all typed out on my laptop because i know if i don't i'm going to forget key details that I want to talk about. Starting out, I want to talk about my plans for college while I was still in high school. I went to a relatively small high school. I think my graduating class was 204, 203. I would say I was a decent student. Overall, I had about a 3.8 GPA and I was in a decent amount of clubs and like extracurriculars, which are also very important for your college application. My high school also didn't have rankings, so I have no idea where I ranked amongst everyone in my class. So you can get an idea of what I did in high school. I was in SAD Club, Junior Achievement, which I think most high schools have. I was in Many Mighty Mustangs, which deals with our elementary schools and also a Spanish club. I played a varsity sport. I played soccer all throughout high school. My guidance counselors never really helped out that much when deciding on where to go to college or helping out with the application process. My senior year was COVID year. I'm class of 2021. Everything about college, especially for me, was up in the air. I did not know where I wanted to go. I knew I wanted to stay somewhat local. I was supposed to take my SATs at the end of junior year and then everything got shut down. So when I applied to college, I didn't have my SATs. I just applied SAT optional to everywhere. I did eventually take my SATs, but I never sent in my scores because I already got accepted to the colleges that I wanted to go to. The bigger colleges I applied to were WVU, Pitt, and Duquesne, but I really had it narrowed down to either Pitt or WVU. And honestly, I never really saw myself going to WVU. I would have to pay out of state tuition, which we were not trying to do that. When applying to all of these colleges, I just applied as undecided because I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I'm gonna explain why I kind of chose Pitt in the first place. First off, the location. It's about an hour away from my hometown. I felt like it was a good enough distance to be on my own, but also be close enough in case I ever needed anything, or even if I just wanted to go home for a weekend. Pitt offers a ton of majors. I felt like I could really figure out what I'm interested in and what I don't like. And from what I knew, Pitt was always like a good academic school, and I wanted a school that would sort of challenge me, but also give me all the tools that I needed for my future career. I always saw myself going to a bigger college College too. I never saw myself going to a school with like 1,500 kids. I wouldn't say Pitt is like a giant school, but it's definitely big. You're going to meet a lot of different people, a lot of new people. And I know this is kind of dumb, but football is also a big reason why a lot of people choose their colleges. They want that game day atmosphere. And that was definitely one of the reasons why I chose Pitt. I loved going to football games in high school. And I felt like if I didn't have that in college, then I would have just been bored. It's not only football, like I've been to basketball and soccer games, and those are always a ton of fun. More about the location. I visited Pittsburgh a lot when I was little. It's the closest major city to me. I always enjoyed going to Pittsburgh when we would go to Penguins or Steelers games. Honestly, I just wanted a college that had a lot more to offer than my hometown. There is so much to do in Pittsburgh and especially around Pitt's campus. I also didn't know this when I applied, but you get free bus rides on the Port Authority. I've utilized that a lot and I've been able to explore so many different areas within Pittsburgh. Before I get into my experience, I want to talk a little bit about the party scene and the Greek life because I know that's also a big reason why people choose what college they want to go to. I'm going to talk about this from my perspective as someone who's not involved in the social Greek life. I don't really go out a ton. I'm not the type of person that wants to go out every single weekend. That's just not for me. But if you do enjoy going out every weekend, you can most likely always find something to do. There's like the typical frat parties and there's house parties and also bars. Any
anytime I do go out, like I always have a ton of fun. And the best way to find parties is to make connections with people. Also, if you're planning on rushing, I would say do it. I know a lot of people in sororities and they seem to really enjoy it. I'm gonna talk about my personal experience at Pitt now throughout the past two years. Just like everyone else, I was so excited for freshman year just to start college. But when I got there, I really, really struggled to adjust, which I feel like this is not talked about enough. It's hard to go from living at home your entire life to living in a tiny dorm and sharing it with someone. For me, I didn't really struggle with the whole sharing the room thing. I didn't really care about that because I still felt like I had my own space, but it was just being away from home was kind of difficult. And honestly, I went home quite a lot during the first semester just on weekends. Like at the beginning, I just felt like I didn't fit in. I didn't make many friends. And a lot of that is just because I didn't put myself out there enough. It's something that you absolutely have to do, like step out of your comfort zone. That's the best way you're gonna make friends. The most I did is talk to girls on my floor. I would go get dinner or lunch with some of them. Making connections on your floor is a great way to make friends too. Looking at it now, it was also very difficult to make a lot of friends because of all of our COVID restrictions. The first two weeks of our classes were online and then a lot of our welcome week activities were sign up only or you just had to pick them up and do it yourself. In terms of classes, I took basic classes. I took composition, which I think everyone has to take. I took intro to psych, algebra, and micro econ. At this point, I was thinking of going in a business direction, so I started taking a few business classes my freshman year. Honestly, I was not prepared for the difficulty of college exams. I took APs and honors in high school. Honestly, those tests were so easy compared to some of my college exams instead of doing like one to two chapters you're doing four to six chapters for a midterm it just took me a while to get my study routine down you have to study for your exams you cannot like wait until the night before to start studying because you're not going to perform well now i study like five days to a week out of a big exam there have been those times where i've waited until like the night or two nights before and i did not perform as well as i wanted to it was weird to have classes with like a hundred kids instead of 10. I did struggle my first semester. My favorite parts were football games and Halloween. I had a lot of fun. Oh my, my lights just turned off. Hold on. I'm gonna go into my second semester of freshman year. If you do not enjoy the cold weather or snow or ice, do not go to school in the north. I'm from here and I literally hated walking outside in the months from January to March. The weather's horrible, it's cold, you have to walk outside to go to class, to go back to your dorm, to go to the dining hall, and everyone gets so excited when it's the first snow. By the time it's March, you are over the cold weather and you just want it to be summer. I specifically remember it did not get warm until literally the weekend before finals, which was like April 22nd or something. If you hate the cold, Old, don't go to school in the north you're gonna hate it second semester i thought about rushing because spring semester is when rush goes on i took a lot of stuff into account honestly i was very scared to join a sorority just didn't think i could do it didn't think i'd have enough time to be in a sorority and for my classes have my weekends free and be able to go home. Just liked having my weekends free to hang out with my friends or catch up on homework. But second semester, I did a lot better in my classes and it honestly just took a little bit of adjusting. I finally got a homework and study routine down. I was still taking business classes and some gen ed. Spring semester was a lot better, but it felt like it went a lot slower than the fall term. And then we go into my summer after my freshman year. I really started to think about what do I want to do after college? Because yes, college is fun and all this, but you have to like consider that college doesn't last forever. You have to think about your future and your life after college. I decided I wanted to do something involving marketing, PR, advertising, digital media, something along those lines. When planning classes for my sophomore year, I was still taking gen eds, but I also continued to take a few business classes. Still planning on transferring into the business school. My advisor actually told me that if I were to even try to transfer in, that I would be behind a year and maybe even a year and a half. And I honestly just didn't want to do that, especially when I can do a different major and still get the same careers after college. I'm thinking about minoring in business right now. That's to be determined to see if I even have time to do that. Because I knew I couldn't transfer into the business school, I decided to look into different majors, decided to take a few communications classes, I decided to major in and communication and I'm also getting a certificate in corporate community relations. I'm still planning on doing something business 
after I graduate. In the fall term of my sophomore year, I also joined a service sorority. That was probably the best decision I made at college. I started to meet more people, I made friends. It's just nice to be involved in like one club or organization that you really care about. You're gonna meet so many people by joining clubs. I did a lot better in my classes sophomore year. I just met more people and I made more friends. One thing I wanna tell everyone is that you might not find your place right away, but you definitely will eventually. Honestly, didn't really like Pitt at first. It had nothing to do with the campus or the college itself. I just kind of felt like I didn't belong. A few of my hometown friends actually go to Pitt and Duquesne, so it was really nice to have them around. It's just fun to like catch up with your hometown friends at college, but I'm also glad I made new friends through joining clubs at Pitt. I really like Pitt now, love the campus. I love the whole city aspect of it. I also like my major. I feel like I've finally figured out what exactly I want to do. It did take a while, but I'm glad that I finally found my place. Okay guys, that's gonna be all from me today. If any future Pitt students see this, I hope you guys have a great experience. And I hope this video helped you out when deciding on where to go to college. I know deciding where you wanna go to college can be really scary and a really hard decision. I just wanted to share a little bit of my experience I'm only halfway done with college. I still got two more years. College does go really fast. Like I can't even believe I'm about to be a junior. I still feel like a junior in high school. I'm gonna have a lot more college videos coming this summer because I have a lot of free time to create content. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube, and I'll see you next time. Bye!